Welcome to this course. My name is Lawrence Ocon and I'm so glad you've made the decision to be among the thousands of people that are changing their lives online. Now this is one thing that has changed my life for a very long time and it has changed people's life and I believe $5 online class. Now I'm going to be showing you how to create your Fiverr seller account your Fiverr seller account and then I also mentioned that after this um, training you're going to be getting a certificate that you're going to be uploading on your Fiverr seller account so let's get started for those of you that don't really know what Fiverr is so Fiverr is a platform that allow um, freelancers to go online and tell people the services that they offer and they allow people to reach out to them or they reach out to people that they can provide services for you can reach out to customers to buy your product by sending them a request from here i want to do this or you reach out to customer now the least amount you can charge on fiverr is five dollars that is you can go below five dollars that is why the starting price is always from starting at $5, starting at $150. You can charge as much as you are worth. That is one good thing about Fiverr. So we're going to create our gig page. Now the services that you offer on Fiverr are called gigs. So basically what we do is I'm going to log out from here. Because I'm already logged in, I'm going to log out so that we can create a fresh account. Now, let me go in, in a new tab and all I need to do is start Fiverr, Fiverr.com. When you type Fiverr.com, it's going to take us to um, us, and, you know, yeah. This is the front end of Fiverr. This is the front end of Fiverr. You choose explore the market, graphic design, digital marketing, writing and translation, video and animation, music, video, programming, tech, business, lifestyle. Whatever your services are, you can sell your services on Fiverr. Now basically gonna click here um, join if you are because I guess most of you are new to so this gonna click join. Now I will advise you log in with your Facebook, continue with your Facebook, but I'm not gonna use my Facebook because I'm already registered my Facebook. I'm gonna do this with a fresh email so that you can see how this is done. So I'm just gonna choose one of my email right here. And continue so I'm gonna choose um, a username um, I'm gonna just choose anything guru I'm gonna um, I always go for auto suggestion let them suggest a password for me Okay, let's do this. Go to 247. See, that is okay. Now, this welcome to Fiverr. So, I'm just gonna save um, my password. Password is already saved. So, you're gonna go to you click here on this dashboard you're gonna see um, all these dashboard manage request post a request refer up to hundred dollars all these and become a seller so quickly um, you can go to our profile you can basically go to our profile you can see our profile is empty so you choose a picture profile picture and I always um, advice 
my students not to choose um to use their regular Nigerian picture because most people when they see that you are black they always have wrong impression about black people so basically I'm just going to go to my image I'm going to show you where to get free images free images that you can use and upload that nobody will come and ask you anything so uh, let me see let me use this lady I'm just choosing any random image but in the main section you're gonna know how to do this now I'm sure them I've sent you an email so all you need to do you go to your mailbox and verify your email verify your email now location Nigeria October 2020 so Profile information tell us a bit about your needs and get organized recommended. Don't worry, this now. What option best describes you? I own a business, I'm a freelancer, I'm an employee, I work as an agency. I use Fiverr for personal need. Now, you're gonna choose this, most of you, but you can choose any of these. But I'm gonna go with I am a freelancer. Which industry does work based business belong to you? Now, you can. You can choose any of this. You can choose any of this. Um, you can choose which industry will suit you. It could be in advertising, marketing, adult entertainment, whatever, whatever. This is totally left to you. So I'm just gonna go with um, advertising. Just gonna go with advertising and marketing. PRO, you can save change work. You can always, you can always create and change this later on. You can always change this. So let's, so here you can link, you will link all your account and all these things. Well, let's get back to here. So become a seller, gonna click this to become a seller they'll get the main registration form now I'm just gonna click here to become a seller so we are just gonna skip this put a seller profile now it's a learn what makes a successful profile. Discover the do's and don'ts to ensure you're always on the right track. Add your profile picture, description, professional information, publish your gig, create a gig of the service you're offering and start selling instantly. So we're gonna click continue. Now you can see um your first impression matters. Create a profile that will stand out from the crowd on Fiverr. So your your profile is one thing that customers are going to see when they log into Fiverr. When they need a services in Fiverr, um, your profile will be the first impression they're going to have about you. So take your time in creating your profile so it's exactly as you want it to be. Accredible. Put a face to your name, upload the profile picture that clearly shows your face. Now. To keep our community secure for everyone, we may ask you to verify your ID. Now, most of the ID are certificate, and after this course, you're gonna get the certificate. It's gonna be given to you. So, we're gonna click continue. Now, let's talk about the things you want to stay clear of. Your source of fiber and sporting jewels have all the following to keep in line with our community standard. Now, providing any misleading or inaccurate information about your identity. Now, opening duplicate account. Remember, you can always create more gigs. Now, you don't have to open a duplicate account like I have just done now. I decided to open it to show you all this. Now, solicit other community members for work on Fiverr. Requesting to take communication and payment outside of Fiverr. Now, the Fiverr front of you requesting to take communication and payment outside of Fiverr. The front of that you're going to be learning about this in the 
main course professional information so when you type in your name so so your name is example john smith so you're going to type in um paul so paul paul jen john So just gonna type in lame, 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 lame right for now because I'm not gonna use this account. Profile picture. So we're gonna blow our profile picture. Profile picture. So you can where you can get a very fine picture of you. You know, like I've said before. So I'm just gonna use this lady for the profile picture. So share a bit about your work experience, school project you have completed, and your area of expert. So you can see, um, I am a digital marketer, Facebook advertiser, uh, web developer. I have worked with over 500 clients that are happy to work with me and throughout, and throughout our working. Experience we haven't had any issue in what so ever we were working working on so I will be glad to Execute your project with maximum expertise and make sure and erase my duty. To make sure that my customers, rather my client, are satisfied because to me, client satisfaction is a priority. So. That's it. You see the least amount of work, 600 words. So we're gonna ask you for select which language you can communicate in a proficiency level. So English is basic. That's okay. So we're gonna click continue. Um, professional information, your occupation. What's your occupation of digital marketer, graphic designer? Now, if you want to create um, any of these, you can choose. It's going to learn graphic designing, you're going to learn programming, you're going to learn um, video creating. So basically, you can you're going to choose digital marketing as my occupation. So choose two to five of your best skills in digital marketing. I'm going to click on um, so well this also suits you I'm going to change this option graphic and design so I'm going to go with this for now let's keep it simple for now 
of web and mobile design choose web and mobile design i'm gonna choose well i don't know which skill you're possessing so i'm gonna choose flyer design choose logo design um, book books and album covers yeah gonna be learning all of this um, all of these business cards and stationaries banner cards gonna learn all this most of all what is on here you'll be learning most of them so I'm gonna show you from which year well if you have already had this skill before have the knowledge so I'm just gonna go 2018 to 2020 these are simple information I'm just feeling this is skill related to the service and offering and at the experience level now you can add a skill of eg of graphics graphic design of graphic design you can add to your experience if you're here beginner intermediate and expert well i'm just gonna choose intermediate for most of you are intermediate but if you're an expert you can choose expert well let's go with that so you can add another okay photo editing do the photo editing do logo design the illustrator suggestions so you can pick that you can pick that so you can decide to add so you can choose web design web development and choose web development experience of well yeah you can choose expert if you're an expert yeah so you can you can choose you can add another one um video editing Video editing, you can do the digital, whatever, whatever. So experience, gonna you know, choose an expert, right? So you can add as much as you like. Education, country, country of college. Gonna you know, choose Nigeria, Nigeria. You need to lie about anything here. college or you can choose your college covenant university just choose any random stuff university do you have that yeah so covenant university of title what are you bsc whatever whatever you do so you can choose this certificate major what's a major well if you don't have the you can just leave that that won't really matter and choose any random here now what do you major in most of you you might be an engineer an engineer whatever do not know. I be a nurse, engineering, or you could go with just psychology. I don't know what the major in, so psychology. You could go with that. So just psychology. So basically, you can leave that as that. So certificate of award. So basically, yes, this is certificate. So I'm gonna basically choose here of uh, web web development. What do you measure in web development? I'm gonna choose that.
web development event to so I'm just going to tap in certificate certificate from Empire Tech Empire Tech so you click the year just going to choose a random year so that's okay that's okay That's okay. Send that in. Now also send this in. Personal website. If you have a website, if you don't have for now, fine. I'm gonna put a little bit of that come. So that's okay. If you don't have that you can use to the empire the block later you come in and it shows your you put in your website or you can leave this blank so we're gonna click continue click continue so link your account so you're gonna ask you to link do you have a google account you have a google account just click connect so it asks you to sign in. So I'm not gonna connect any of this, okay? Okay. Let me connect that. Let me connect that. Well most times this happens to Google. So let's go to Facebook. I won't I wouldn't want okay. Now this is happening because my account is already connected. My other Fiverr account is connected. So basically, you connect your Fiverr or your Twitter rather. Let's see. Back to application, it will take a few moments. All these are not going to connect because my accounts are already connected. Right? So if you use any of these things, you can also connect them. You can connect them. So let's click continue. So email account, they're gonna ask you to verify your email. I've told you before. They have sent you an email, check your inbox, verify your email, phone number. So you add a phone number, you can add the phone number here. So I'm gonna ask you to verify that. I don't wanna do that. So create your gig, you are almost done 10%. Now if you need a minimum of 65% is required to continue. The seller profiles up to a great start. Take a moment to complete the following step. So again, you just click profile. Continue to create your gig. So I'm just gonna add a phone number. So you can ask them to verify by call or SMS. You can see this number is already connected to Fiverr. That's the same thing that happened to my, to my Facebook, Twitter. So oh, I just have to do this because if I don't, whoa. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, oops, 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 these numbers are connected to Fiverr already, we log out of this, So I'll continue with my Facebook. Alright, welcome back. We're gonna grade a gig. Well, when you're done with your registration, everything is gonna 
just come to here your profile when you click on profile it's gonna bring you here now you can see i can delete okay i'm just gonna delete this so you can always delete your key click advanced options so you can see delete gig so basically deleted most of my gigs 